again, year one. Welcome back to our art lesson, lesson two, where we'll be looking at some more painting and drawing. First of all, I want to say thank you for all the work you did last week. Well done for everything you did. It was brilliant. I loved seeing your work coming through on my email, uh, being able to see how you've been working at home. It's been so encouraging and so exciting for me. So please keep your work coming. Well done for what you've already done. This week, we are going to need some materials, the same materials that we had last week. So we're going to need possibly our pastels again, or our crayons, or our chalks, or our pencils that we were using. We're going to need the same paint we had last week, a water pot, uh, some paint brushes, and hopefully the picture that you did last week. There's just a couple of words that I'd like us to think about this week first. Uh, let's say them together. Translucent. So, Translucent means something that is partly see-through. If we put this word in a sentence, we could say, the sun shone through the translucent window, the translucent rainbow, making colorful patterns on the wall. And we can see a rainbow there that someone has in their window. Next word is opaque. Opaque is the opposite, really, I suppose. It is something that you cannot see through. So if we put that word in a sentence, we could say, the paint was so thick, it became completely opaque. Right, so we need to remember those words today. They are going to be useful. So the first one was translucent. And the second one here is opaque. Well, let's just recap what we did last week, so, because we're building on what we did. Last week, we began looking at an artist called Jasper Johns, and we started a piece of artwork based on one of his paintings called Zero Through Nine. If you haven't done that part yet, then look back at last week's lesson. It's on this video playlist for year one, and find the first lesson. Do that one first. We drew our outlines, then we began painting in complementary colours. So I really want to share with you one of the amazing examples that somebody sent in to me to just celebrate what they've done, but also to remind us of how to do it really well. Thank you to everyone that sent work in, but this particular video of work just blew my socks off. So well done to Mia Ann for sending me her video. Let's have a look at her work. Wow, that is a really good one. So now we have seen Mia Ann's amazing example. And we've seen how she was so careful painting in. Oh my goodness, so careful with her paintbrush. She made sure she filled in the shapes that she had drawn. She mixed her colors so beautifully. It looked like she was having so much fun. So we can take some tips from what she did to, to help us with our work this week. In order to carry on, we need to analyse our work so far. So if you're at school, have a look at your partner's work. If you're at home, have a look at your work and think about what you love about either what your partner has done or what you have done. What have they done well? What have you done well? Get ready to either talk to your partner or talk to someone at home about it. What have you or they done well? Tell your partner. 
Okay, so we've discussed what we did well. Now it is time for us to analyze our work a bit more. Let's think, what could we do to make our work a little bit better? Have a look at your picture. What could we do to make it even better than it already is? How can we modify and improve our work? Because in art, we're always trying to modify and improve. It's a bit like your writing in literacy where you edit and improve. We're doing the same thing with our pictures. So have a think, what could we do to make our picture better? Hmm. Okay, so here is my picture from last week. So I'm going to do a little bit of analysis to think what could I do to make my picture better? Hmm. Well, I've had a look, so this is what I think. To improve my picture, I need to paint in my missing gaps because I've got quite a few bits that I didn't have time to finish. To paint over some of my more translucent areas to make them more opaque, less see through, and more solid block colour. I think I might need to tidy up some of my messy corners because in some of the places I didn't really get that shape that I had drawn. I let it go a bit a bit more blobby a bit less defined. So I might want to tidy up some of my messy corners by painting over them a little bit to make them neater. And maybe right at the end, perhaps I might want to go over some of my chalk lines just to ensure they stand out vibrantly because they've got a little bit lost under my paint. I wasn't always perfectly careful with my paintbrush. Okay, so maybe you might want to do some of those things. We definitely want to fill in our missing gaps and we definitely want to make our painting a little bit more opaque. Now that means a bit more uh, uh, layers over the top. Now I don't want you to think that you can't do it. We can do it, you know. We just need to persevere. I think in our world today, we're always expecting everything to be quick, Everything is instant, but when it comes to art, we need to persevere. We need to keep on going, because otherwise we'll have a picture that isn't as good as it could be. So let's say to ourselves that we can do it today, and we're gonna make our picture even more amazing. Let's see how we get up. Okay. Well, I've painted my picture. I've gone over my missing parts and I've made it a bit more opaque with a couple more layers. This is what it looks like. I think it looks a lot better than when I started. I think now I might like to go over my chalk lines just to make them a bit more vibrant. Here we are. One last modification, a bit more chalk lines, a bit thicker, more opaque chalk lines. Okay, now I am sure that you have done a phenomenal job with yours. So please make sure you send your work to me. I love it when you send it to your class teachers and they forward it to me, that is amazing. But you can also send it straight to me if you want at the email which is coming up next.